Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited that you guys chose to draw with me today. Thank you. Otherwise, I'd just be here drawing alone, which can be fun, but it's way more fun with you guys here drawing. So, are you guys ready to draw? Awesome, okay. Well, let me give you a few hints on the animal we are going to be drawing today. Most of this type of animal live in the ocean, but some also live in rivers. They can jump really high out of the water and they breathe out a little hole in the top of their head called a blowhole. Do you know what animal we're doing? <laughs> you got it, we are drawing a dolphin today. And dolphins are so much fun, they have so much personality, they're super smart animals. So let's have a lot of fun drawing a dolphin, but make sure we have everything we need to start before we begin. All right, of course you're gonna need to start with a piece of paper, but then you'll also need a sharpened pencil with an eraser of some kind because we're gonna do some sketching to start and then we'll have to erase it after we've dropped in our lines or our outlines with a dark marker or a pen like I have here. And at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which I'm really excited for. So let's get started with our sketch. All right, so I have my sketchbook on its side because I want to draw a dolphin leaping out of the water, which I think would be a lot of fun. And if you've ever seen a dolphin jump out of the water, it's really cool looking. They glide through the water and in and out of the water. It's very, very beautiful. I used to live in California and we saw lots of these in the evening, all these pods of dolphins. That's how a lot of dolphins grouped together. It's called a pod. All right, let's start right here. And we're gonna go up, 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 up and bring it back down and maybe there. We'll just kind of stop right there. Alrighty, so now that we have this, it's almost gonna be like we're drawing a banana. <laughs> kind of a banana shape. <laughs> so let's do, we're gonna have it taper. It's gonna be a little bit smaller and one end is gonna get a little wider and then it'll probably get a little smaller again. Just like I said, a banana. So let's do a little line. Maybe we'll kind of this come down a little bit further. And let's start a little line right about there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna just have it go right up like this. Now there's no exact way to do this, so I'm just gonna kind of guess on where I want it. And this is why we're doing it with a pencil because we can make our changes afterwards. We can erase some things. So I'm gonna kind of go like that. I'm gonna bring it down further on this side. Um, let's see, do I like that? Yeah, maybe I want that tail to go a little bit further down. Okay, maybe I want that a little higher up. Maybe I want that a little bit higher up. There we go. Then what I'll do is I'll just erase some of these lines here. Right on the head, I'm gonna be, there's lots of different types of dolphins. I'm going to be drawing a bottlenose dolphin, which is a very common dolphin that you're probably familiar with. But yeah, bottlenose dolphins are pretty common and those are ones that are generally depicted when people draw dolphins. So that's why we're doing that one today. All right, so I think I'm just gonna have the head kind of go down like that. I'm gonna curve it off at the end. And then the bottlenose, part is just where their nose kind of goes out, kind of goes in like a bottleneck, and then it comes out right over here, like that. Let's do this, and we're gonna kind of round it off right here, and bring it back in. Now, that means I want this to connect with this part, so it's kind of further down. I'm gonna erase that in a second, but now I'm just gonna kind of follow my line and try to make that match up with the bottom of my mouth of my dolphin. So now all I have to do is take that eraser and just erase underneath it. All right, so we got the nose, we got the head right there, and that head's got that really cool shape. It's kind of a, looks like it could hold a big brain in there, and it actually kind of does. It's the, it's a very, very smart, very smart animal. All right, so they have a, actually if you drew the, the what was it, what did we draw? The narwhal. If you drew the narwhal with me, then you'll kind of know what this tail is going to look like. Very, very similar. So we'll kind of go out like this, like that. And then it's this funky little shape kind of like this. Now if you need to draw kind of a line in the middle so you know where the middle is, it kind of helps me. It kind of is like a weird wavy shape. So it kind of goes down, up, and then down again. It meets in the middle. And then we just mimic or copy that same thing right here. There we go. Alrighty, I'm liking where this is going now. It Okay, tell me that does not look like a big banana. That does look like a giant banana. <laughs> Alrighty, let's put the, the, the dorsal fin on there. Now that fin right at the very top, uh, maybe let's move it back a little bit further, right about here. 
and we'll kind of do a curve like this. It kind of reminds me of like a shark fin, but instead of being kind of pointy like a shark, it's rounded off in the top. Kind of reminds me that if I see one, oh, that's friendly. <laughs> it's not a shark fin out there. It's just a little, little dolphin. I don't have to be really worried about it if I'm out there in the water. And with dolphins, that's how they tell each other apart. Those dolphins, each one looks a little bit different and that distinguishes which dolphin is which. And they know each other very well. They have really cool family structures and they're very caring and loving animals with each other and other animals too. I've seen them uh, save and heard, heard of stories of them saving other animals and bringing them back to the top of the water who are drowning or something uh, or who are hurt, uh, which is, Really, really cool. All right, let's draw their eyes, and then we'll draw some more fins here. Let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw the eyes right about here. Right about here. Is that a good size? Yeah, I like that size. And we'll have them looking over at us with a big pupil there to make sure that we know it's extra friendly. There we go. And then the, e the mouth is actually really easy. So from here, all you have to do is just kind of go up here a little curve and then just go straight to the middle there you go and if you want you may not see it at this angle but I might just add it because I think it's a fun little feature is their little blowhole that's on the top that's actually how they breathe is up here so they have to hold their breath basically when they're underwater and they have to come up out of the water to go breathe every once in a while now they can stay under for a very long time but that's what makes them a mammal they have to breathe air and they can't just stay underwater all the time. So they'll come back up and they'll breathe through this hole, not through their mouth. That's actually what they eat with and uh, make sure that they don't drown underwater. So that's not where they breathe as well. They actually breathe up here. So they'll hold it and they'll go up to the surface and you'll see them go at the top. <laughs> Let's do the little fins that they're gonna use to, to help uh, steer them around in the water. So we're gonna kind of go like this and then back up like that. What's that? No, that's a good size. Okay, see things are starting to look a little better now that I got that on there. It looks kind of weird without all the different pieces. What's really interesting, I don't know if you've ever seen a skeleton of a dolphin, uh, but I, I have and it's crazy because they have fingers. They have bones for different fingers inside those fins, those little flippers that they have there. It's kind of strange. It almost makes you think that before, a long, long time ago, they came from something that may have been on land. I think they even have a little floating pelvis, a little tiny pelvis in there, which suggests that they might have lived on land a long time ago. Okay, so I put that other one in the back. I think I was talking during this, but I added just another one of these, a little bit shorter so we can see that it's in the back. And I added it right here, and then I'm gonna erase this. I erased this line right here because I don't want to draw over that because that one's in the front. And I'll keep this line here because that one is in the back. Yeah, I like that. There's a hopping little dolphin. Now maybe you want to add some things like some splashing out here, like it's hopping out of the water or you want to draw the waves. Maybe you want to draw the little air shooting out of the blowhole. I don't know, maybe you want to draw a little sunset. There's so many things that you could do with this. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to let you do that on your own and I'm just going to color mine in as is. But uh, right now, my next step, is adding my outline. All right, let's do our outline. Should I go straight through there? Yeah, I'll go straight through there. I always thought the very, another interesting thing about dolphins was the noises that they made. They make lots of like whistling and clicking noises. They make a lot of different noises. They're very vocal and they communicate quite a bit. They're very good at communicating with their families. And they like to live in big families too. Um, I mean, there's usually around 20 to 30 of them, but the, there's been sightings of dolphins in pods that have been the size of like a thousand dolphins, which is pretty cool. Could you imagine that? Going to maybe a family reunion with thousands of people? Actually, it'd be more like living with a thousand of your relatives. <laughs> That's kind of a scarier thought. <laughs> I think it'd be a little chaotic. All right, I'm gonna draw that mouth there. 
Now they do have some teeth and they look a little bit scary because they look like they're kind of sharp teeth in there. They have around 100, between 80 and 100 teeth in there. But they don't really use their teeth in a really scary way. Like they don't just like rip and shred their food apart typically. Like they like to catch fish and crabs and things like that under the water. But what they'll do with their teeth is they just kind of lock onto things and hold it and help them kind of swallow it whole. They don't really use them to chew a lot. It's more just to kind of like hold it in their mouth because it's not like they have hands to hold on to it while they're eating it. <laughs> not like little otters. Remember our sea otter friends? Yeah, those were adorable. And they have little hands and they keep it on their belly and they eat it. Well, dolphins don't have that luxury. So they use those, those teeth to kind of just hold it in place. And then they swallow it whole. All right, let's do that. Well, let's do the tail and then we'll do the eye last. I'm always freaked out by drawing circles. They always stress me out. It's great when I'm drawing them with a pencil, but with a pen, ooh, I can't erase it and it kind of stresses me out. Awesome, we got the little tail in there. Let's see. Okay, now let's draw that eye. There we go. And I might start smaller with the pupil and then I'll continue to fill it in. Oh no, that's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because I'm scared I might actually make too many marks there. Awesome, well it looks like I am ready for color right after I do a little bit of erasing. Get all that under sketch out of the way so that I can color it. I'm using markers so it's gonna be extra important that I get all that pencil out from underneath it because it will show through and I don't want that to show through. Go ahead, color yours in and we'll meet up right after. My dolphin is finished, and I'm gonna name my dolphin Flipper after a very popular show that I remember watching as a kid where they had this pet, this family had a pet dolphin and it was super smart and helpful. And uh, yeah, it just brings that good memory. So this is gonna be Flipper, and I'm really excited with how Flipper turned out. How did yours turn out? I would love to see, but make sure you have your parents just go on Instagram and just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club or they can shoot it to us in an email, uh, however they wanna do that. But we just love to see what you guys do. And you guys are doing a fantastic job of sharing your work. I love seeing what you guys make. Thank you so much. And uh, because we're proud of our project right now, our, our dolphin right now, let's make sure to sign our name so everybody knows who drew it. Awesome, well thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. This has been an absolute blast. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel and then if you enjoyed this video of drawing a dolphin, please give it a like. We do this Monday through Friday every single week. So thank you and remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.